dare to say all for Jesus. The world is charged with the grandeur of God, says Hopkins. But we, the FMMs, would like to say, the whole institute is charged with the grandeur of God because of our beloved Blessed Maria Santa, whose feast we celebrate on 7th of November. A woman with purity of intention and simplicity in doing everything for the love of God. In the year 1878, during the octave of Assumption, at the dawn of 20th August, a beautiful flower blossomed in the region of the marches in Italy, in force, in a small little hill opening out onto a vast horizon to the parents of Luigi and Euphrasia. Asunta was the ray of hope in the family where she was the eldest of four siblings, namely Alexander, Joseph, Vincent and Madeline. She was baptized the day after she was born and took the confirmation at the age of two. She received her first Holy Communion at the age of 12. It was an inexpressible moment of happiness for her to receive Jesus in the tabernacle of her heart and it was the most beautiful time of her life. She started her schooling at the age of 6 and ended at the age of eight. Due to poverty, she attended school just for three years, the time necessary to learn to read and write. In spite of still being herself a child, she had to rise to the level of being a second mother to her little siblings. She actively helped her mother in everything. Asunta's piety radiated around her. The children of Mary in force counted Asunta as one of fervent and outstanding among them to speak about God and to lead them to prayer. In her leisure time, she spent kneeling for hours before the altar, conversing with the humble Christ. She had a filial tenderness for the Blessed Virgin Mary, the beloved Madonna. She offered her heart to God in frequent prayer, and finally her whole life became a life of prayer. With the guidance of her parish priest, Dom Martini, at the age of 19, Asunta decided to enter the convent. The Superior General, Mother Mary of the Passion, wrote a letter to Maria Asunta. Let the little one come as she is, the doors of the convent of the Franciscan Missionaries of Mary at Via Gisti are open to receive her. On 9th October 1898, Asunta was received as a novice and sent to the convent at Grotta Ferreta. Here, Sister Maria Asunta was employed to work in the kitchen, in the farm in the poultry. She did everything with purity of intention and with the motto, All for Jesus. This radiated in her a true Franciscan joy. 
at the end of november 1898 asanta met mother mary of the passion who said marches is the land of the saints you must become saint too this became a watchword in her life asanta made her first profession in december of 1900 and continued the same work with spirit of joy she undertook the hardest work and did everything with a lovely smile her angelic patience the gentleness of her character caused her to be sent as a helper to the infirmary in the year 1902 all her sisters remember her self sacrificing ways her gentleness and her willingness to do any type of work she took her final vows in february 1904 shortly she received the joyful news that she was to be assigned to the missions in china where the seven martyrs offered their lives as lambs on march 19th 1904 together with nine sisters asanta set sail for china in the convent the sisters cared for 400 orphans Maria Santa joyfully worked in the kitchen accomplished her daily duties as perfectly as possible for his honor and glory she spoke with children with a smile and love in her heart and the children understood her very well on march 19th just one year since she had left italy Sister Asanta was stricken with typhus. On March 25th, she asked for the last sacrament. On the 7th of April, the sisters, the confessor and few Chinese girls gathered around the bed of the dying Asanta. Suddenly, those in the room began to notice a delightful fragrance. which resembled a mixture of violets and incense for 3 days the mysterious perfume remained in the house then it ceased on the day of her burial april 9th 8 years after asanta's death the community was transferred to tianfu and the bishop wished that the body of sister asanta also be transferred discernment revealed that the body was incorrupt she was beatified on the 7th of november 1954 by pope pius the 12th the life of maria santa tells us that god's grandeur can be ruled through the simple people with virtues of purity and simplicity she was seized by god clothed with simplicity purity and charity full of love for god and his people she was dared to say all for jesus at all times in all places in all circumstances and in all the events of her life she was dared to walk in the footsteps of humble christ whom she contemplated and became an icon for humility drawing inspiration from blessed maria santa let us be women with purity of intention and simplicity and do everything for the love of our god